Yeah. Now what I do, I, I love doing with this podcast is um, always usually at the end, we always do a segment called the randoms, which is a few questions mm-hmm. that I have here, kind of gets people understanding of kind of who you are uh, within dance, but also outside of it. Um, okay. because I think it's also important for people to, you know, have some fun. So yeah. let me just throw my first question at you. So Selena, if you can eat anything right now, what would it be? I will eat my favorite tacos in the world. Ooh. <laughs> they are um, barbacoa tacos, but I used to yes. eat these tacos since I was since I can remember, my mom said that I couldn't even like stand and I'd be like asking for a taco. And he would always <laughs> give me like free tacos because I would be late to school. So I always wanted the tacos. And she would be like, go get one, but I was so tiny. But every time I go to my hometown, I go and see them and eat those tacos because they're just the best I've ever tried in my life. Mm. Yeah. Mm, okay. I could, I could see <laughs> like you just want to hop on a plane right now over there. So. Yes, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I love it. All right. This next one is going to be interesting because it deals with us as dancers. We're at socials, we're at performances, but socials specifically. Um, don't get me wrong. I love dancing with people. I also have pet peeves as well. So you got to let me know. What's a pet peeve of yours on the dance floor? Uh, I guess hygiene. I guess I think I know. Yeah, because you know we we all sweat. You know, like it's this yes. is natural. We humans, we sweat, but we have to be responsible to, like you know, be aware <sighs> of our smell. You know, so yes, because that part, that part. Listen, I I dance with people with hygiene issues and. And have to be respectful and say it makes the song longer than it mm-hmm. is. And listen, mm-hmm. again, hygiene should just be a, a, a yeah. natural thing. Right. All right, next and, question. Yeah. Uh, what were you going to say? No, I was just going to say, and that's just one thing. But let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. But next I love dancing. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So next one is Is there anything you would improve about yourself? You would improve? Yeah. Um, everything. <laughs> I'm like that. I need to keep improving. Um, but definitely, I would say my discipline mm. needs more work. To be honest, to be right. honest, because you know I could be motivated and get work done, and then when I encounter myself with just the option of discipline, it's it's tough and. You know, I'm like slowly getting back on that track again because I feel mm-hmm. like it's always a wave, you know, and it, it it happens. We're artists, but at the same time, we're humans. Yeah. So I'm trying to find a balance where I can reflect on my emotions and, you know, feel what I have to feel, but at the same time, not let that affect my work and my, you know, to continue and stay disciplined, let's say going and working out and doing what I have to get done and just trying to find the time to do it because it's so easy for you to focus on, you know, you have to go teach. As a dancer, mm-hmm. you have to go teach, you have to go rehearse, you have to work out too because you can get injured if you don't work out and you only dance. Like that's also, you know, a thing. Um, and I also trying to have a life. Like I want to also be with my boyfriend and mm-hmm. it's just a lot. And I also want to be human. So it's like just yeah. organizing it and trying to fit everything in my schedule. But hey. definitely that needs improvement. <laughs> okay. I appreciate that. All right. Next one. This should be interesting. What is or do you, what's your routine before a show? Because some people, they meditate. Some people, they listen to some music. Is there anything you kind of do um that is routine kind of during or before actually a show? I would call it breathing meditation. Like mm-hmm. I really like to get into my breathing. And that's something that I got to lately because I um I realized my chiropractor when I went to him the first time, he was like, I don't think you know how to breathe properly. <laughs> And I'm like, what do you mean? What I'm still mean? here. What do you mean? I'm, yeah, I'm still, still living. I'm a, from an athlete, I was a dancer, and I, I need the breathing, you know? But yeah. it makes sense the way he was mentioning it and how I was 
doing it. And once he taught me how to actually do it, I was like, wow. So actually, there wasn't a lot of oxygen going to my brain in the way that I was breathing. Mm. So that was like a mind-blowing thing. So since then, I've been like working on my breathing, and it actually makes me feel relaxed. Because usually, I'm always going to feel nervous, you know, before a performance. But Mm -hmm. breathing makes me just, it's like taking a chill pill. (laughs) <laughs> you know, like you're just more relaxed, listen to the song, mm-hmm. um, going over it on my head, uh obviously stretching, warming up, and just doing a little bit of um cardio because yeah. it's like the routine, for example, with Hunter, it just goes, like it's fast. Yeah. So for you to like let your body get into that shock of like mm-hmm. just go, go, go. Like, I need to get my heartbeat up at least right before performance. And that's when I, you know, I try to always have, get there with time so I can, like, go over these, these things. But, you know, I've been in times and, like, congresses that we're running from, I don't know, tech. And we got to go put our makeup on and just change it. And now we don't got time. Now we got to be on stage. So there has been moments that I haven't been able to go through my routine. And it's just, it's still possible to get through it. but. Is like a little bit more draining than oh. actually giving yourself the time to prepare to be on stage. Absolutely. I definitely but, agree. Yeah. I think I would say it's similar to like a car. You always have to warm it up before mm-hmm. you go into drive. So mm-hmm. I definitely understand that. All right. Our second to last question. This should be interesting. So right now I'm giving you the power. You're right now at your favorite Congress event, social, whatever. And as the promoter, I say, Selena. You get to choose the one performance that you want to see. Who is it? Oh, man. But, uh, yeah, the South is seen. It could be, it could, yeah, it could be any performance right now. They say, hey, we're going to bring them right now just for you, and you can watch them. Who is it? Like you're saying, like performance, like from the scene, right? From the salsa scene? It could be or salsa from- scene, anything. The whole world. I guess I'll have. Oh, this is a hard question. I don't know. I have so many, so many in my mind, but I don't know which one could be the best. I guess. Like Rihanna's Fenty show. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, listen. I appreciate it because so many people just go really back into dance. But hey, the Savage Fenty I'm show like, by Rihanna. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, that was a dope one. I admire okay. everybody in there. Yeah. But there's, there's more, definitely. But at and, least that one is the one that comes to mind. Yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, now it brings us to my last question. And this one should be interesting. So many people know that you dance. Many people Mm -hmm. kind of under, if they know you, you know, they they know little things about you, but what is something that people may not know about Selena? My first name. (laughs) Really? Wait, so Selena is not your first name. No. <laughs> oh, I mean, is, is there a way we can? What, what do you mind, or do you mind me asking what your first name is? Sure, I can answer that question. My <laughs> first name is Genesis, or in Spanish, Genesis. <laughs> oh, Genesis. Yes. Wait. Wow. <laughs> so, was this like a professional type of change, or was like well, what? Selena is my middle name. Gotcha. Um, so it's uh, when I started in the scene as an artist, then I was like, okay, Selena is my artist name. Okay. So that's when I like left the Genesis for my friends and family in Mexico. Gotcha. And then I put the Selena. And now everybody was calling me Selena. And I was like, I connected to it because I felt like I was able to be independent. And I was a new mm. new person, you know, 
So I left Genesis in Mexico, or Genesis in Mexico, <laughs> and I came to New York being a Selena, okay? Oh, my God. Well, so listen, people, I have to tell you, that does not mean <laughs> that you should be calling her Genesis. Sí, Not, no. As for friends and family, you are she is still Selena. So okay. let's keep it there. Listen, I appreciate you even giving me yeah. that because I never knew that, but I thank you. And yeah, also the friends be like, "You lied to me all these years." I'm like, something Sorry. special. Listen, <laughs> listen, I feel special knowing that, and I thank you again for doing this segment. This is why I do yeah. it. It gives people like a little bit more insight into who you are as yeah. a person. So I you appreciate made, you, that. You made my brain work. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, but it's <laughs> And, you know, honestly, again, having these conversations <laughs> with people like yourself is needed. And I think it helps yeah. us transition now because we are at the conclusion of our talk. And, and I tell many people when I have these discussions, this is not just like a one-off. For me, um, I always use these discussions in fervor um, to have more discussions and get a little more in detail and a little more understanding of you. And as we talked as well, then bringing this type of platform into more of a public space with us, like face to face. Cause I think that's yeah. even more, more personal. And, mm -hmm. but at least before we really end and conclude, I really want to say from beginning to end, um, I've really appreciated our dialogue because I think it's needed as we've talked as well in our scene. It's kind of like, hi bye or hi let's mm -hmm. dance i'll see you later so kind of having these moments of like okay there's no music uh there's no performances there's just us i think is, right. is amazing because again many times you won't even get to have these conversations because even when we try there's always the hey let's dance or somebody will grab you and i tell people have respect if somebody's having mm -hmm. a conversation don't just be grabbing people I mean, that part. yes, <laughs> definitely. This is something that I want to bring in class. Like, we need to teach our students how to even ask someone to how to dance. Like, you need to know, you know, you, it needs to be part of the class consent and all of these tools. Like, we definitely need it in the class. Absolutely. And it's this is amazing that you're doing this because, you know, how you said, um, we're always connected with dance but we mm -hmm. never really get to know each other like that or or the stories and the backgrounds of everybody so i am really grateful that you have me here because i know a lot of people don't really know where i come from or mm -hmm. what my training was like so they only saw one part of me but you know i used to do a lot of different styles not only salsa and it's just so dope that I can, I'm going to be going in those videos and I'm going to see these artists that you spoke to because I honestly want to know more about them because yeah. I feel like I know them, but I don't mm -hmm. really know them, you know, like now I feel like now I'm going to get to know you more. Yeah. <laughs> you know? and that's, so. a, that, that's the beauty of it because for me, I'll tell you this lastly was doing this um, platforms because during COVID, I realized there were artists that left the scene completely and their stories were never told right or right. they they came back in a different capacity even less mm -hmm. performing even less social dancing or just less of a, appearing at events in, in general so for me it was like you know what before that could ever happen again be able to share people's stories from people like yourself but through your mouth through your lens yeah. because yeah. i i tell everybody i can't tell someone's story for them I want them to be able to, but at least be in a comfortable setting and mm -hmm. not, because also I say too, when I'm talking to these artists that you know of, I'm coming from that understanding of, I know what it's like. Mm -hmm. I'm not just some person with a camera and a mic and say, talk to me. I've been on the same stages. I've social danced with many of you. I've had simple conversations, but I also want artists like yourself to know that a person like me cares mm -hmm. because it's a lot. It's a lot more than just saying, oh, hey, Selena, just tell me about yourself. Cool. I saw a video. Just tell me. Tell me what you like people to hear. Like, no, I'm going right. to, I want people to hear what they need to hear. Exactly. So then at least years later down the road, they can't say, I don't know anything about Selena. No, I'm mm. giving, I'm, I'm taking that excuse out and I'm telling people, you're going to know who Selena is. You're going to know where she came from. 
And I'm, and I, I just want people, like you said, seeing now you're, you're going to be able to look at interviews from the past and like learn a little bit more about people you knew. Yes, yes, and, and I'm, I'm excited to do so. This is beautiful, Simon. Thank uh, you, really. No, of course, of course. And again, like doing this podcast, it means a lot. I'm excited for um, what you have coming up in the future, yes. and I definitely look and look forward to catching up with you as well during this year. And again, I appreciate you doing this. I appreciate everything, but at least before we go, I would love to know if you have any last few words for myself and the audience. Yes. Well, one thing that it keeps bumping in my head is that I didn't really get to say all the highlights from New York no, of from course. my performances. So I'm just going to mention the one yes, that, I, absolutely. that I missed. So after Fuerza, my highlight, my next highlight was debuting with um Iroko. Mm. So I was able to debut the first routine that they made in New York and train with them. And my other highlight was definitely obviously New York movement mm -hmm. and competing with them. Uh oh a whole different feeling. It was just a such a powerful moment. Um and in the height. In the height yes, the girl. Movie, was the highlight of the highlight of the highlight like it was just amazing it wasn't even part of my goals really like i didn't mm -hmm. really think it was even something possible you know so that was wow like a gift for me and of course recently with latin soul dancers i always since i saw adolfo from mexico i wanted to train with him sometimes i even wanted to like move to italy to even be able to experience the training with him mm -hmm. and having him in new york i was like oh my god i need to i need to get back to new york and i came back <laughs> and i trained and i was like yes yes i'm doing what i said okay let's go so that's another highlight for sure but i just wanted to share that real quick because i forgot uh mm -hmm. or i just i guess we just started speaking about something else and yeah i completely didn't complete that part but mm -hmm. yeah just wanted to say that um and in terms of the other questions or options to share i would say when are we doing an interview for you listen <laughs> We want to know about Diamond now. <laughs> Listen, you let me know. I, got, I have so many stories to share, but you know what it is for me? It's like being 32 now, and we've talked. I think it, I, I felt like you were shocked when you found out that I've been dancing since like 96. And I, I for me, uh, I take it as a blessing because, I mean, there's so many dancers that I've known of that are no longer here in the same capacity. Um but to see the new generation of dancers like yourself over the past 10 years. And I think even you, like you coming to New York, I think the people from 2013, not a lot of people. There's a, there's a, there's a whole brand new generation of dancers yeah. coming. And I, I think for me, um, being able to connect with artists like yourself is so special because again, we, we live in New York city where it is rough, where it is tough, mm -hmm. um, where it's like, what have you done for me lately type of attitude. And for me, I've always said, I'm not going to do that. I can't because I've had those conversations in dance sport backstage with some of y'all like, yo, how are you doing as a person? Mm. Like fuck the dancing, fuck this performance. Like, what are you doing? How are you? Because I realize that's something, a simple question like that gets overlooked constantly. And for me, I've had people ask me, when am I going to inter be interviewed? Listen, I'm yeah. down anytime, any place, anywhere. Any questions you want to ask, <laughs> anything you want to know, that's, I'm down to do it. And right. again, this is, this is why I do this, because I, I want to be able to have people like you share your journey with others, because you never know who you're inspiring. You, you never know right. who you're helping give that little extra push to and um, again this is why i do it I'm, I'm excited and i'm definitely looking forward to another conversation with you another dialogue and trust me our next dialogue you can ask me anything you want anything i'm gonna get ready <laughs> please <laughs> listen and listen again here at the let's discuss with diamond podcast we fully 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 support people and artists like yourself and again from one artist to another thank you for everything that you do, because I know what it takes. I know the long hours of rehearsal. I know 
the, the pain in the knees and the back. And yeah, I, I know what it feels like. And again, um, the sacrifices that we all make sometimes for family, for ourselves, for the betterment of the community. So again, thank you. Uh, I appreciate yeah. this. And everyone who will be listening, uh, this episode will be on Spotify, Google, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, Facebook, and more. Um, and this has been a very, very special episode of the Less Discussed with Diamond podcast with myself, Diamond, and the one and only Selena Tornez. Hey. Uh, so thank you, everyone, for tuning in. <laughs> Who will be tuning in? We'll see you soon. Everyone, peace.